really fast. Is the picture gonna last? Nope. Can it make your life a hands? Or can the flash not save you? Can you run like the wind? Nah. No. Can you bend the wind yeah. behind you? Life keeps moving. Have you all seen that film in the movie for love? I should have, but I haven't. It's beautiful. It's I know. Like the whole vibe, I thought it's the color, the sound, it's just gooey, gooey, like lovey dovey. I have to see it. You do have to see you it. Would love it. The yeah. ways living in a country, in a city like this specifically, with so many of the effects of money, you start to put value over quantity as opposed to quality, obviously. But then at some point, we just started to realize like we had to be New York City, NYC, or Nick, Nicola. In a weird way, it's like it all comes full fucking circle. And now we don't have to exist as a concept of a number, but rather the quality of whatever the fuck this means, you know? That sense of capitalistic, like all this hogwash is like, people then become nihilistic and that is not human nature. That's just fucking anguish. That's the weight yes, of the city. Yes, that's the weight. Like then you start, down. Like you said, I'm I'm 22. And then like you would go to your phone. Anxiety. Because then these symbols get redefined for you as like, this means more to me than 22 does. Whatever Wait, 22 so means. And what y'all are saying is yes. that in order to be in the mood for love all the time, I need to let go of capitalism systems that sure. people in my life. Sure. I think also like, okay, maybe we can redefine what it means to be in the mood for love. Because yes. you can be in the mood for love, in the mood for loving just yourself. Sometimes it's like, I don't even want to love myself. Like, you know, I don't want to get in the shower. We don't want to get out of bed. The depression. A way to get out of that is to move, dance, do some yoga, get in the sun. I like the but sometimes I'm not even like, like in the mood for that, you know? We really just want to like rot. And, and I'm still trying to figure out how to like move past that. It's a practice. Depression has such a powerful worth and has its value in the human psyche. When you're depressed, your body is acting for rest. And you rest and you rejuvenate and then you're able to face whatever. But that rest is real. And sometimes like when you are in that state of depression, that is your body in the mood for loving itself. Because our bodies are a system. We yes. need to like protect and just to, like sustain life for however long we can. Yes. So like those moments when it feels like you're not in the mood for loving, accepting that your body's in its system and your okay. body's doing what it needs to do. That's the love. You reminded me earlier to give somebody grace, and it's that, the giving of the grace when we're at our worst. In this world, especially in a place like this, with the effects of the place like this more than the place like this, New York, we are constantly fed a sludge of life. Instead of being able to go seek the food, to go get what you need, and also what you want, it's there. It's just right there. You just, you just gotta go walk, pay the bus, take the fare. If you want to know nutrition, go to the store. Socialization, you just go to a pub. Entertainment, this thing, right? It's so fucking accessible. It's like when you go to the store and buy an excessive amount of something. Except this is free and now we're the fucking product. So it's coming at the cost of our emotions. You know? Because yeah, we're the product, but it's like the product is selling us happiness, but we're the giving back in return. Is our attention, the, the thing that they're taking from us, soliciting from us all the time, yes. mind you, all the fucking time, yep. because you can access your phone at any given moment of the day. So even if you're in a room with other people supposed to be present, and you don't want to be present with those people, you can be like, yes. and just scroll. Yes. But that's the product, and we don't realize how much we're giving in those mindless moments of just like, People will take moments to be like, oh, this is very fucking intelligent, this conversation. When we're talking about the general prospects of life, taking a moment to not be to ourselves so much, since humans are a social species. We were not made to be insular when for so many years, decades, centuries, millennia, we've migrated, we've moved. Whether we've moved people by foot, horse, and chariot, or by Christy, that's you moving. You're moving thought, you're moving words, but now the movement is done for us. How can we move if we do not have to? How can you move as 22 if 22 makes you not want to get up in the fucking morning? It's not even 22 that's the problem. It's, right. it's the implications of 22 yes. in the context of the structure that we're existing Right. In. Technically, you would have been starting life over here, and you end life over there. You start life up back, you start life to the, to the left, and you start life down. Because, okay, can we imagine right? something, please? Okay. Idea of like the linear and even three dimensional. 
a whole century ago, we were underneath the that tree root territory. What the fuck is asking me? Asking what do you mean? What the fuck are you No, 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 no. The city is beyond us. This is the problem. This is the problem. Don't give us any more of this burden. Just let us live. Shall we recite the meme? Like, was it wrong? Just. How can we even address the good in good faith without addressing the bad in good faith? This, this shit, I wish him love. Attention, you. No. Two trains are not going to be taking your seat in Atlantic Avenue Barclay Center because of track maintenance. Two trains are running on the run line between Chamber Street and South Ferry. For service between South Ferry and Atlantic Avenue Barclay Center, take the N or R train. Attention everyone. Uptown A and C trains are not stopping at this station because of track B. Imagine life as a cycle like this fountain. Spouting out from the center and that is the birth. And as you go up, that is like your peak. And as you come back down, it's that gravity. is your death. And it continues because we're all this one like crazy yes, thing. Yes. It's literally like the fountain. It is like the fountain because it's going out. That's you come, you up, come from that an origin. Right. But you know what? So we see the fountain, we just see the top half of it. You can only yes. see it like this. Yes. But there is also as above, so below. So there is the life and there is the death. And the death is what is unseen and the life is what is seen. And so there's like the constant, like there's the things that you cannot see. So when we're alive, the things that we exist with that we coexist as death is the subconscious mind. And then you rest. That is death. That is when you connect with death. That is when you are in the state of death. This, this structure, is the day. This is the day. This, this is, is day. also a life generation. And it's all cycling through. This is literally the structure that life flows in. So it's yeah. constantly it's sprouting like, out. There's always a peak of your day and there's always like and existing in the middle. You're oh constantly God. existing at some point in this flow, in this chart. And the thing is, is that it's not a perfect circle, but there is a sense of a loop because you have yeah. a beginning, you go around, there may be an end, but that end only oh. ever starts again. Yes, the end is the beginning. It is always that Wow. Way. This is like literally the perfect diagram for life. All these other lives are rounded. Mm -hmm. And some lives, like every drop of water may be clashing in with another. And now that's a cluster. That's a social group. Some are just so big that that's like consonants. That's there's a whole or group a of things. Style. A lifestyle. It could be the city and then that could be the country. But it's wow. like all these things and they're always connected. It's always together and it's always moving. And there's yes. always something, there's always an aspect that is unseen. Because in this fountain, right. there's a pump there's a at pump. the bottom that is moving this water, that's collecting and moving the water back and up. And you know it's moving back up only when you're able to see that there is a thing that's like, wait, the water's coming. Where's it going? Wait, but there's water so, still going, going, going. Imagine the pump as this invisible force mm -hmm. that connects everything. We all have energy, right? It's like this magnetic force that pulls us back together. And through that force, it is like pushed back up. Through the force of recollecting, recollecting, remembering, remembering, and I mean reassembling. Remember, dismember, remember. Come, yes, it's literally like that. The whole time, forever. And that wow. is life. This, yes. this is a single drop. That is a sing that is That's the one drop of a single But we're viewing drop. this drop as if it's not a circle, but we're zooming in so far yeah. in, it's a line. Mm -hmm. So then if we're going with that, right? It's a line. Some people would be thinking that the American or just perception would be moving through life like this. Just moving through life like that. Like it's like imagine this is the corner of the cube and it's in the opposite corner of the cube. Oh, and just like and we're just like straight. just shooting a bullet straight to right. Yeah. But some people would be like, they're traversing through this cube like this, like doop. Dude, and I'm doing it. Like, how does poverty make you move in the cube? You start, people would then feel like the poor, the, 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 like, the, yeah. the, not even. They would be like, because we're all going to die. We're yeah, all going to make enough decisions to where we're alive enough to die. But death, does death exist in the 
look, look, look at this, right? Hold on, look, right? Life is a journey. Yeah. Death, not a destination. Yeah. Death is that destination because that's what unites us. It's to say that, yeah, it goes back. We don't know what's beyond there until the life begins. Because, yeah, we would decompose and then turn it to soil, and then now it's a tree. We're zooming in enough to see that this is not necessarily a graph that's two-dimensional and linear and perfect and straight, but rather it's like now you're making us think, like, wait, what if this is just like a spiral in a way? Like it's all spiraling in. But that is, wow. So then we're asking in the Z-axis clothesline of everything that you've done, who are you now? Where have you been that served you? Where have you been that served against you? Where might you be that serves against you? And where do you want to be that serves you? I don't, I think, you know, the serving this part of the graph that is like, that serves against or serves, it serves you. Right. That's a perspective thing. I believe like that everything is working in my favor, good or bad, because there is always gonna be some bullshit. There's nothing below here. This is all just this. We're just There's stretching this out. There's always gonna be something that is that feels off, that feels against, that feels like it's going against. But if you are an alchemist, if you can take that thing and use it, if you can take that force and use it for your own good, whatever you okay. want, everything is just energy. You can collect it and fucking point it to where you want it to. Okay. So then, could we propose this instead as questions for you? Because for us, it sounds like you've broken down this Z-axis. It's like, there's no necessity to have a positive and negative. But rather, it's just, this thing is here. And this happened at this point, it's like poles as opposed to dots. I feel like it's a big it, pole. it might even be better to, instead of like defining a thing as good as, or bad, like really just focusing in on the experience of that thing and how Ooh. that lives in your body. For us, this is more of a tool. This is more of a communicative tool. Mm -hmm. And now you're like, it's like you've taken this tool and done something with it. To do with it what you will. What we want to know is what has happened in your past that you could note. Like maybe four or so things that you can note are like, I learned from this. This was good. I learned from this. And this shit, wow, that rocked me. What the fuck? And then also in the future, it's like, I don't want this thing to happen again because it might affect me in the future in a way I don't want. Versus in the future, there's a thing that I do want. I want to strive for that. Maybe like however many of these things in the past and however many of these things that might be in the future. The thing that's been like on my heart and on my mind recently is like being my mother's daughter and how that affected me. And that was painful for a really long time. And you know what? It still is. But I know the kind of mother that I will be as a result of knowing what it's like to be born to somebody who's completely emotionally intact. She is the reason why I'm so emotionally mature. She is the reason why I have so much compassion, empathy, love, hyper self-aware of who and how I am in people's lives because I never, ever, ever want to put people through the abuse that she put me through, you know? And now I'm coming to understand that like whatever trauma that you have, if you don't address it, if you don't heal it, if you don't somehow find a way to process it, you will become a machine that just creates more destruction. You will become a machine that creates more suffering. Okay, you can become a machine for suffering and destruction, or you can be, become a machine for life, like a tree. So, I'm trying to become a tree. And when I was walking by, actually, somebody over there was like, you look like a little garden. And I was like, cool, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. I must go home, I apologize. That is perfectly fine. Honestly, this... So we want to paint a picture for you, right? Yeah. As we were saying to these two, this is the thing about that song, Zeitgeist You. So imagine, set, like face this way, right? Imagine you are like a vertical line as opposed to just a person right now. So this is the x-axis. The x-axis is time. To the left, like metaphorically, to the left is the past. You can never go back. You can only look at the past. This way, what would that be? The future. The future, right? Origin, you right now. And now you have a clothesline of every decision. That's like this sheet of one thing. This whole sheet of like this quadrant, this, this, this two-dimensionally, 
is like one verb. And then another sheet is another verb, another verb. All the things that you do, all the things that are done. In this physical metaphor and embodiment of that image, okay. I'm creating the cloth. You're creating a tea. There's like also the metaphor of prey, which, you know, we all yeah. have our, our feelings about Christianity. I like to call him crust. The actual, actual truth of Christianity is that Jesus Christ walked in pure love and accepted everybody. Because he was able to do that, he was completely pure. It wasn't the institution of whiteness that made it pure. It wasn't the patriarchy that made it pure. It wasn't these things that would like clock on top of an image over time. It was the fact that he was down to love anybody and would literally wash the feet. And so it's like a way of greeting the present is to be fully loving and accepting of whatever is to come. And in that way, you can continue to be reborn because there's always going to be some type of sorrow. There's always going to be some type of thing that will like take you, try to take you out of your peace, literally, or try to take you out of your oneness and ability to face the present. But if you like access that part of you that is just loving and don't accept it, then you can be present with whatever is coming. How do you be loving when you're not in the mood? For the love of God, keep stealing this damn boat we're on the planet. Wait, doesn't this shit happen like around here?